Welcome to Matt Commentaries. Thoughts on society, politics, culture and the arts. Today, the documenta and anti-Semitism. Every five years since 1955, the international art world meets in Kassel, where the documenta shows what is currently trendy in art. For a long time, the documenta was the flagship of the new democratic Germany, which embodied the ideals of enlightenment and modernity instead of national socialism, anti-Semitism and racism. For some time now, the involvement of the early documentary makers in national socialism has clouded the beautiful picture. For example, one of the early makers, art historian Werner Haffmann, was actively involved in the brutal crackdown on Italian resistance. Now, the International Art Show again comes under massive criticism. In a blog post, Alliance Against Anti-Semitism Kassel, the documentary direction, the Indonesian artist collective Ruang Grupa, was accused of anti-Semitism. The accusation is that artists are, and, or groups are invited who aggressively disguise their anti-Semitism in criticism of Israel. For example, the Palestinian Artists Collective, the question of funding, will be shown. The group works in a cultural center named after the Arab nationalist Khalil al-Sakakini. Sakakini was a supporter of National Socialism and Adolf Hitler and adopted his delusion of a Jewish world conspiracy. One of the curators even signed an appeal equating Israeli-Palestinian policy with apartheid, massacre and murder. Of course, criticism of Israel can and may be voiced. Of course, it is the task of art, an expression of its artistic freedom, to lead controversial debates. But if politics is declared to be art, then it must also be measured against the criteria of political debates. In the art business, it is increasingly on vogue to accuse Israel of fascism, even genocide. The fact that Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, is defending itself against decades of Palestinian terror is often swept under the table. In any case, it is not the task of a renowned art festival in Germany with state funds to grant a stage to activists who want to annihilate the Jewish state. It's about time for the documentary team to make a clear statement in favor of Israel's right to exist. Otherwise, the controversy will become a scandal.